Welcome to Yes, welcome to this live coverage of the US 2024 US presidential election. And I'll be taking you through everything you need to know on this monumental election day as America decides between former President Donald Trump and current Vice President Kamala Harris. Here we will bring you the latest updates on polls, key issues, state by state analysis and insights into what this election means for both America and the world. This election marks a historical crossroads for the United States. Both candidates represent radically different visions of the future. Trump, 78, is aiming for a comeback after a, a turbulent presidency and post-presidency marked by controversy and convictions. Harris, at 60, would make history as the first woman and first black and South, South Asian American to win the presidency today. Today, we explore why this election is making headlines around the world. Let's jump right in with our first major update of the day. Polls have officially opened on the U.S. East Coast and millions of voters are already lining up. Early reports suggest we may be looking at record vote turnout. Now let's check in with our correspondent uh, on the ground in New York. Um, from him, um, in New York, polling stations are buzzing with activity. People are motivated by both enthusiasm and concern as they cast their, they cast their votes. Some say they feel this election is about preserving democracy, while others are calling it a chance to bring back America under Trump. Either way, turnout is high. We'll keep you posted throughout the day. Yeah. Now, um, we can cl cross to another state, but this election is expected to come down to just a few key battleground states. Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin are all showing tight margins between Trump and Harris. Let's take a closer look at each. In Arizona, Trump is narrowly leading but faces a challenge from sub suburban and young voters favoring Harris. Georgia has seen an intense grassroots push from both sides, especially targeting young and minority voter. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, historically critical swing state, remains neck and neck. Harris has a strong lead in urban areas while Trump has secured the rule of votes. Trump's bid for the presidency is unlikely in name history. Impeached twice, convicted post-president, yet supported by a fiercely royal base. His campaign is defined by calling um, his campaign is defined by calls to save the America he says has been threatened by progressive policies. Harris, on the other hand, has risen to the national stage as the trailblazer as vice president. She played key roles in pandemic recovery and voting rights protection. A Harris presidency would represent continuity, aiming to expand health care, protect reproductive rights, and strengthen international alliances. So, who is winning the most support? The latest polls show Harris with an edge among some women and minority voters. While Trump has seen a resurgence among rural and white working class voters. But as we all remember from past elections, anything can happen. Meanwhile, the world is watching. In UK, markets are reacting cautiously. 
London FTSE 100 saw a slight rise of 0.3% with utility stocks uh, giving the index a boost. Analysts suggest a hard win may stabilize UK and European markets. Well, as a Trump victory could spark concerns around inflation, tariffs, and bond yields. Now, in sound, in uh, voters, uh, some of them, um, we have got what they say. One of them is saying, I'm voting for Harris. I think she's focused on uniting the country and addressing important issues like health care. There's the is um, um, a Trump supporter because he tells it like it is and isn't afraid to stand up to political elites. The other is this election is personal for me. I want a president who understands working people and that is why I'm voting. Voters of Rea are passionate and the atmosphere today has been emotional and charged. Many say this feels like one of the most consequential elections in the lifetime. Polling data from uh, Reuters, Ipsos, highlights a significant gender gap in this election. Harris leads among women by 12 percentage points, while Trump holds a 7-point lead among male voters. This gap underscores the divisions shaping this race. Trump's campaign has already hinted that he may declare victory on election night, as he did in 2020, regardless of incomplete vote counts. He's also raised concerns about potential vote, voter fraud, echoing claims from four years ago. Harris, meanwhile, is urging voters to remain patient and has emphasized the importance of, continue, of counting every vote. Um, now, uh, other political analysts uh, have this to say. One, try, uh, Trump's base remains incredibly mobilized and his message of America first resonates strongly in certain states. And another is saying Harris has the youths and minority voter largely behind her, but the question is turn out. It could all come down to that. Then the third one is saying both sides are emphasizing the stakes, but Harris's message on democracy seems to be galvanizing women and young voters. As we head into the evening, we'll bring you live updates as a result, as results start to trickle in from the east coast remember some key states may take days to finish counting bouts but for now stay with us for all the latest coverage as this historic day unfolds thank you for joining and remember to subscribe if this is your first time here